Right, so here are our top five tips if you own a Deeper. So setting up your sort of deeper for first use when you get to your desired swim. Firstly, your smartphone or your tablet, you need to pop it into aeroplane mode. I prefer doing that way and it kills any mobile data. If not, turn off your mobile data and your Wi-Fi assist, just leaving on your Wi-Fi. Then once you've attached your deeper to your fishing rod, lower it into the edge of the margin, a couple of rod lengths out. What that will do is activate the built-in Wi-Fi network. Then what you need to do is just go into your Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone and look for deeper chirp plus two, like you would any other sort of network that you're trying to connect to. Once you've done that, open up your deeper app and the two will pair. You'll see a nice big green button on the, on the screen. Just press connect and the two will be talking. You're then presented with a number of options depending on how you want to use it. So whether you're fishing from casting or a bait boat or ice fishing, depending on how you're using your deeper sonar, this will present the options for you to choose from. It will then say connecting and connected. It will start to scan in the edge, which means you're ready to then cast it out into the lake and start finding your feet. So this is the hardware that I use when using a deeper. Now, generally you can use uh, a normal carp rod and reel, but I like to use my, my spotting kit basically. I've got a, a big pit reel there, it's an emblem spotting reel and a, a Kaizen spot rod. Now mounted on that spot rod, you'll notice I've got the smartphone deeper mount. Now this basically keeps your phone really, really secure and in position and actually allows you to cast the deeper whilst your phone is in position. Saves you just reaching out, getting your phone, leaving it over there. It's all in, ready to go and ready to retrieve that deeper. Now on the actual spool itself, it's very, very important to use a, a trusted, reliable and strong line. Now I actually like to use braid. I'm only fishing close range today, so I'm not using a hugely thick diameter, but if I am going out sort of 80 to 100 yards, I will use a shock leader just to be sure. So yeah, that's my hardware when using a deeper, nothing too complicated works perfectly. Right, so my next tip then is always make sure that you connect the little bolt that you get in your uh, deeper box to your sonar in the correct position. So there's three bolt attachment holes on your deeper sonar. For this purpose of casting out into the lake, we want to use the bottom hole attachment. So you just take your uh, screw and just put it in nice and tight so it's nice and firm and screwed into the bottom hole attachment. What that is going to do is when you're retrieving in your sonar, it's going to be sat in the correct position on the surface of the lake. The two little sensors at the bottom are going to be scanning the lake bed and it's going to give you crisp, clear scan when you're retrieving it in on your rod and reel. Not only that, when you are reeling it in, you want to make sure that you have a nice, smooth, steady action, which again is going to give you the best scan quality. So when using the deeper, you need to make sure that it is totally waterproof for obvious reasons. Now on the deeper itself, you've got the words water and proof and four arrows as well. Now to make sure that there is no water ingress, simply slide the two sections so that they meet like so, that the two of the arrows are opposite each other and the water and the proof sign is opposite each other. And that way you won't get any water inside the deeper and it will work perfectly. And a big carp has just shown out there. <laughs> and again. So my last tip then, once you've finished feature finding, whatever it is that you're doing with your deeper sonar, always make sure the two little sensors on the bottom are bone dry. Now you can dry it with a towel, on your joggers, on your hoodie, whatever you've got close to hand, just make sure it is bone dry. I see it so many times on social media that people are uh, experiencing, you know, the batteries drained, etc., etc. It was fully charged up at the start of my session. That is purely because once these sensors are wet, the deeper sonar is on, it's active. So always make sure you dry the two little sensors at the bottom to make sure you're preserving your battery life. So we hope these top tips will help you get the very best out of your deeper sonar when visiting your venues. <laughs>